All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to discuss about this new song that I just received from my friend in Indonesia, SS Cyberpunk, which is Sandy Sreger, Cyberpunk, that's the name of his band. And, uh, <coughs> shit, what I want to say. Anyway, let me have a drink. It's made me come back to normal again. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with the world situation like now, people killing each other, uh, some people agree with that, some people disagree with that, some people this, some people that. Uh, in the end of the day, we can't forget the magical aspect of life, which is a music. Without music, where are we going to be? What's going to be? And what happened in our life? A lot of things happened in our life that affecting us also related to music and music is the best place for some people to express their imagination and their feeling how they feel right now and music I can say it's more just expression it's a soul of ourselves how to explain this one I don't know how to explain it I'm not a fucking uh, priest or something like I'm not or I pretend I know but I don't know but anyway I'm gonna play to you a song I don't know what's the name of this one let me just check it is my friend just sending me to her just now in a second his name's in here let me show you give me a second anyway Sandy Sreger so this song I think is about the situation of in Palestine today. This songs are written by my friend Sandy Sreger. Where, where are you? Hang on a second. Yeah, Sandy Sreger. And then, hang on a second. And uh, the name of the song, I think they call what's, what's, Rachel and Aaron, which is uh, two victim of they are in uh, they're born in the United States two of these people one of them from the American uh, army and another one of them is just a champion her name is Rachel and she is the best you know uh, the championing of the human right but unfortunately both of these people is a victim to what happening in Israel Palestine today so I'm going to play the song directly so it's a lot easier for every one of us. Here it is. Let me give me a second. I'm not that fast anymore in my older day, you know. So let's listen to this song. You fuck Israel all day, every day. Fuck Israel till my last breath. Fuck Israel till I'm in jail or I get shot. Fuck Israel. <laughs> Oh, 
Rezol Kori Ingat Aaron Bushnell Maka ingatlah Kebiarapan bangsa Israel Ingat Rezol Kori Ingat Aaron Bushnell Maka ingatlah Kebiarapan bangsa Israel Ingat Rezol Kori Ingat Aaron Bushnell Maka ingatlah Kebiarapan bangsa Israel Holy mother fucker Fuh I tell you what That sounds fucking boss I just noticed that the cable of my headphone get chewing by my crazy little dog, which is this little cat. Oi, you fuck guy. But yeah, uh, I think that songs it's just amazing. It's just it's a representation of how I feel and people like me feel nowadays watching how they Palestinian get slaughtered on the street, get slaughtered in their house, get slaughtered in their hospital, get slaughtered everywhere you can even thinking of. It's the true meaning of the Holocaust. It's a true meaning of genocide. Uh, we can't deny it, what we're seeing in our television several years ago you won't be allowed to see that you know you ban like they will ban any media with that kind of description of the image at the same time now we let it happen every fucking minute in the middle east or in the global south that's what they call it actually and uh, we'll go back again to the past oh, sorry I'm stone we'll go back again to the past I mean what we're doing in there yeah what the West doing I say we because Australia also complicit with this fucking bullshit if you understand what I mean uh, I'm not gonna go on detail on that I don't want to start you know Happy big argument, but what I'm saying is, most of us complaining about the immigrant, about the people that come to your country, about this, about that, in Europe mostly, you know what I mean? But hey, this is from the eyes of the fucking immigrant myself. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's your own fucking fault. You're not gonna like my word, but that's the truth. Why? Well. Look at what you're doing in their country. Look at what we're doing. But this happened before in a lot of different places in the world. Do you think it's only Palestine's the only genocide or colonized people? They got colonized and they call them flora and fauna only. I mean, it's Australian people in here, or my friend in here, my brother, my family, they 
you know, they used to be called it like flora and fauna until 1976. How fucked up is that? They not recognize them as a human. Until 1976, they are not allowed to vote. They don't have the right to vote in their own country, in their own land. It's a many place from here. In fact, matter of fact, the place where I am now have witnessed some atrocity, some pain in the people, ethnicity, like the Aboriginal people. I mean, Aboriginal, they don't even give a fuck to giving them name. The word of English Aboriginal, like, you know, the the native to the land, this was only that meaning of that. They don't even recognize the, the local with their name. They don't even give them name. It's Aboriginal, basically, it's a flora and fauna. If you think about it, Aboriginal of the land. So, the flora and fauna of the land. You check your uh, English uh, dictionary. Or, you know, that's your language. Just because I don't speak English doesn't mean I don't understand English. So, yeah. I'm happy with that song. Oops, that shit keep all over again. I'm happy with that song. And uh, let me pick up that piece of shit. Like what he's saying in the lyric. You're too scared. Yeah, I got demonetized too before. You know what I mean? I understand that. They take your money, they take your business, so you don't say shit about what's happening, about the genocide, about people getting murdered, baby, children, you name it, you know. So this song is a tribute to the man, Yahya Sinwar, Palestine, and uh, he's a fighter of the world. I don't want to sound too political in here, I just like to spread the word of music in here, but at the same time, Let's see, it is how it is. We can't just close your eyes. You know what they say? Evil prevail when the good people do nothing, which is us do nothing. You know, a quick question. What will you do if the Holocaust happen in your eyes? What will you do if you see... Okay, what will you do? You talk about Hitler, you talk about all of these fucking badass people. What will you do if you one of the person that was in there? In that time and generation? What will you do when Genghis Khan was? Sweep the whole fucking world, killing people and shit like that. What will you do if that's what you believe? But what will you do if you are there? Well, that's what happened today, okay? That's what we experience today. That's what, where we are today. What will you do? Which is nothing. That's fucking nothing. We actually laugh at it. It's make us as a human so disgusting. You know, if you think about that to us. Uh, there you go. That's how I feel. And that was uh, Sandy Sireger before with his SS Cyberpunk. Very proud of you. That's a fucking amazing song, right? It's pull on, man. It's pull on, you know. I really like it, you know. I know the song is in, in, in Indonesian, but in English, you know, just the opening it will tell everything. You know, you're the best and my favorite rapper from Indonesia, also as a fucking heavy metal musician. No doubt about it. You're one of the best, man. I'm so proud of you. To Sandy Siregal, you know, man. You know, I love you, you know. I support you, you know. And you know how it is from the river to the sea. That Palestine people should be free, right? I know that. Okay, thank you very much, Sandy. You support, and uh, I support you. Love you for those of you people. If you want to hear more of Sandy Sireger as a cyberpunk, you can just check him out. I think he got YouTube account. He got Facebook account. But yeah, he's one of the biggest singer from Indonesia, yeah? He's a giant, you know? Well... It's David in the in the body, but giant in the in the idea. You know what I mean? Uh, what I say? Yeah, check him out. He used to be in the band called Purgatory. Purgatory is uh, one of the success, the most successful Indonesian band in the history so far. Among Burger Kill, Dead Vomit, God Bless, you know, Jasad, and all the other crap that out there. Anyway. If you want to check them out, 
and say hi to him. He was more than happy. Matter of all, you know, matter of fact, I mean, you guys support his dream and my dream too. Stop this bullshit in the Middle East. That's all, you know. We don't want to see people killing, 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 killing. I got children too. You know, they don't realize it. They will affect in the whole world. If this war keep going on, do you know how much the price of the fuel gonna be? For those of you that want to see fucking Iran and fucking America smash each other, we your fucking brain. You know, if you still catching a bus or fucking driving a, a car with that fucking, uh, what do you call that one? Uh, what do you call that? That fuel bloody thing. Uh, from natural fuel, what do you call it, gas or shit, I don't know, you know, as long as it's not battery car yet, you know, well, it's even battery car, you go, still gonna have to pay expensive, but what I'm saying is, if the war happening, if America and uh, US go to war, you know, what the best thing they do, they will bombing each other oil facility, and Iran will bombing every fucking American uh, what do you call that one? Fuel facility in the Middle East. Do you know how many of their fucking American facility in there and American buys in every you know in every country in the fucking Middle East? You know how many of them in Syria, in Iraq? You know they got their military base in there. They just crazily, crazily killing people. So just stop this bullshit. You know I'm not racist or anything. I'm not fucking. Terrorists, if you think I'm fucking supporting, no, I don't supporting any bullshit. It's just not supporting the dead. More people dead, it's bad. You know, if people killing each other, look, if this happening, if third world war happening, I'm telling you, you know how much per liter gonna be for the fuel? It's about ten dollars, eleven dollars. I guarantee ya. Cause these people now in conflicts is the biggest. Fucking uh, fuel, fucking producer, producer in the world. You know what I mean? So thank you very much. Again, one more time. I don't know. It's a long story. That shit, but that's a good song. And I'm gonna play. Oh shit! I might be gonna play one more time the song of this bloody uh, what his name before say. Cyberpunk, SS Cyberpunk. Let me just down. How do I get the link again? I lost the link again before. You know? It's such an amazing song, you know? Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck Israel all day, every day! Fuck Israel till my last breath! Fuck Israel till I'm in jail or I get shot! Fuck Israel! No name of the city, let me tell you, man. I give up all the cost, all in our pizza, man. Sakara, my jaja, the Kuka, the Bataya, the Rosika, the Lada, the Palestina. But down, down, in the city, in the Saka, the Pasa, 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 Bocha perempuan di berondong ratusan peluru White Town Mafia Di seorang anji tentara IDF ke barat Anak kecil dan remaja ditangkap tanpa sebab Hingga mati atau dibebaskan dalam keadaan cacat Ingat Lake Chocoli Ingat Aron Bushel Maka ingatlah kebiadaban bangsa Let's fucking catch you, I love this song Hai, hai Dengan konser musik Sementara Palestina Terus diajar udah balistik Kemunafikan Memang tak punya empati Berhasil Kapitalis Memang nonton hati nurani Para artis itu Yang seselebram Pengecunya Enggan menyuarakan Kemanusiaan Kata takut kehilangan Bola wajah Suasa dan cuan Rumah sakit masjid Dan gereja pun dihancurkan Ya universal domestik Ini masih bilang Mereka manusia Pilihan Tuhan Saya ni sadar Suatu saat Mereka akan musta Membabi buta Walau perlu berdarah Dan mereka berusaha menghancurkan segala itu Maka seluruh dunia tahu siapa mereka sebenarnya Ia Drake Chocoli 
Israel. Ingat Rachel Corey. 